study published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics finds that children aren't taking advantage of the great weather and playtime, but instead they're packing on pounds. KSAN's Emily Elijah has the details. It's summertime and most kids are taking a break from the mental and physical runaround. A new study finds that children are more likely to gain weight during the summer months. When children are allowed to spend all day sitting around, uh, not truly being active, then it's going to be much more difficult to burn off the calories that you're taking in. The percentage of childhood obesity has more than tripled since the 1970s, and some children are having zero physical activity over the summer to prevent that. During the summer, our classes aren't as big. Our camp fills up, but as far as just classes once or twice a week that parents bring them to, we definitely have a decrease of that during the summer. The summer study also finds that children are prone to consuming more sugar and carbohydrates. Meanwhile, forgetting about their fruits and vegetables over the two-month period. So here are some tips that could help parents keep their children from putting on the vacation pounds. This is very simple, just getting active. Uh, during the school year, there are sports, there's recess, there are activities that they have to participate in. So during the summer, join one of the summer soccer leagues. Go to the pool, go learn how to swim, plant some flowers. That way they can be involved in the activity and they're outside doing stuff. Just taking a simple walk with your kids can develop their independence, improve their mood, and tone their whole body. There's tons of stuff you can just get out and do with your kids, get them moving, get their heart rates up, and it's good for parents as well. They say it all starts at home. Children learn by example. So if mom and dad and the whole family are involved, mom and dad are healthy and exercise, your children look up to you and are going to do what you do. Emily Elisha, reporting for KSAN News.